Okay, so now we're going to look at the concept of a method, um, which is effectively just a function that's tied to a specific object and basically is defined within the object. Okay, so I'm going to drop something in here because it's a good bit to type, and then we'll play around with this. Okay, so this is the same like class definition, um, or so, like for a, a, a an actual class, right? Um, so like a, this is this geography 456 remote sensing applications course. So what I've added here is a new property called course title. And this actually isn't really a property. It's what's known as a method. So this is a function that's defined inside the object uh, notation here. So we're basically saying we're creating a function. The function doesn't, um, doesn't require any parameters. And then this is what it does. Note the use of the term this. So this is a keyword, and basically what it indicates is the current instance of the of the object, right? So you're basically saying this would be like saying course dot code, but it's just more generic because it doesn't call the um, actual object name. It's just like a stand-in for the current object, right? Um, so this is basically a function definition, but inside of a uh, inside of an object and thus it's a method, right? So the syntax generally for a function is something like this. So I'm just gonna put this in a comment. So it'd be something like my function, and then like parameter one, parameter two, parameter three, right? And then you could set the result equal to something. So something like let r1 for result one equal the result of that function. In contrast with the method, you end up something like this. So we'll just do the same thing. Let let's do let r2 equal, and then you'd have the object. So it'd be object one. Let's just do that. Dot my method, and then the parameters if there are any. If not, it would just be empty. So in short, functions are basically the name of the function, and then the the required arguments associated with the properties. And then the uh, the kind of syntax for a method is the object that's associated with it dot the method, and then if there are any necessary arguments there. Just another note on properties versus arguments. Generally, the property defines the actual, like, the name. So this, like, accepts the, pro the three like inputs here or, or properties. And then the, R, the values associated with those properties are generally called the arguments. Those terms aren't always used um, correctly or consistently by people. Um, so in short, a, a method is basically just a function associated with an object. So let's actually use this course title function. Okay, so to use this course title function, we would basically call the object. So this would be course dot course title and there's no ar there's no arguments but we do have to set the brackets there even though there's nothing in it and then let's just wrap that in console log so we can see the output in the console okay so let's do control s to save and we'll load there and there we get our print so geog 456 remote sensing applications okay so again, this is the object, and this is the method associated with the object. So the syntax is different than calling a function.